Hey, hey, hey. The objective of this video is for us to construct a one sample T interval for the population mean. So if you would please turn to page 12 of your notes. Go ahead and read that scenario and highlight the important information. The basic score is 243, so yes, you know that that is your mean of the population. We have random sample of 1,470. We have a mean of that particular group to be 240, and the standard deviation to be 42.17. So, calculate and interpret the confidence interval. So, 99% level C. So, please remember, it's a four-step process. What is it? Yep, state. Yep, plan. Do and conclude. So, here. So, first of all, I've got to state. Mu, and if you don't remember the mu as I cover this up, reminding me that I need a manicure, you can just say the true mean score of all Atlanta 8th graders. You can have that. If you don't want to put the Greek there, that's fine. Plan, a one sample T interval. And as you look at the one sample T interval, yes, it's number 8 in your calculator. That's what that little smudge is right there. But you don't have to put that down. If you don't want to state the one sample T interval here, you don't have to. But, 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 somewhere coming up soon, you have got to have this information. Meaning you have got to have the formula for the um, confidence interval. So you've got options. Either name it or show it. And again, this is just saying it's number eight in the calculator. So plan one, um, we've got the first part of it rather. Here, randomness. I should have been more specific about this. I should have said here, you have a random selection of 1,478th graders in Atlanta. Okay? Your 10% rule. Here, you've got 10 times that sample is going to be less than all the Atlanta 8th graders. Next, normality. Yes, because you've got 1,470 greater than 30, it's okay due to CLT, so therefore approximately normal. So there's our plan. Next, our do, our equation. If you don't want to um, plug it in the formula like this, remember you are okay as long as somewhere you have defined all of these variables. So you can have the naked formula, which is necessary if you don't have that, and then having the values. And then this way, this equation here that I'm covering up with my fingers, you don't have to have that there because why? You have defined that this is 240, that this is 25, no, 2.581, and the standard deviation, which is 42.17, and your sample, which is 1470. So the point is, is that you've got choices. But as we continue to do this, here we go. Let's remind ourselves of how we crank it in the calculator. Okay, so you go over to test. Go down to a T interval, which is number eight. Remember, at highlighting statistics, you go ahead and have those values plugged in there. And then press enter. And here is your confidence interval. Please remember, it does not give you your um, T star. That's based on the degree of freedom, which is extremely high, which is off your chart, literally. Okay, but it's 1469. And all you're going to do is come up with this as approximately um, 2.581, um, given that I used 1,000. I would not use infinity. I know that some of you guys are thinking that. So again, here's your confidence interval. Here is your conclusion. So we are 
99% confident that the true population mean of the scores of all Atlanta 8th graders will be contained in the interval between 237 and 242. But now, let's look at our question B. And as we look at question B, the answer is, question is rather, is there evidence that the mean of all the Atlanta 8th graders is less than the basic level? And the answer to this is, yes, it is less than basic. And the reason it's less than basic is because the true mean value of 243, let me put this in here, of 243 is not between the 237 and the 242. So let's put this in perspective. It makes sense. Here, here's the interval of the group that you have. 237, 242, your 243 is right here. These numbers are below. So yes, there is convincing evidence that their score is below basic. Okie dokie. TTFN, ta-ta for now. Peace out.